Okay, official way in the morning. Let's see. Uh, okay, close enough to 72. So I'm going to use that number there to um, base our carb loading day on. There we go, bowl number one. 100 grams of Dick Smith, Australian bush food. So why not? 100 grams done. So if we get this 100 grams done, that will give us, uh, looks like 73 grams of carbohydrate, which means we're 10% of our day done. All right, we've got 700 mils of skim milk that I think I'll probably have over a couple of bowls of breakfast. So um, the skim milk, whoa, there we go. She's all poured in there. Um, 5.3 grams of carbohydrate per 100 mils. So if I'm having seven of that, we're up to sort of 35 grams of carbs from our breakfast. And we said it was 73 so we're almost at 100 grams of carbs just with one bowl, um, yeah, almost one bowl of cereal. We're up to the next bowl. Next bowl is Morning Sun. These things were cheap. They were super cheap. It was like $1.20 for a whole packet, so I'm into it. Um, worked out there's around. Let's check it out. On the back we can see each little packet has 25 grams of carbs. So I've still got a little bit more milk left to use to get my 700 mils in. So put these two packets in and that'll get me another 50 grams of carbs. Just throwing a 100 gram banana on top. Just throw a few extra carbs now before I put the milk on. Alright, next bit of breakfast is toast with some black currant jam. This stuff here is pretty much all carbohydrate. Um, one serve, 10. So I'm having two serves on two bits of bread. The bread itself, um, I'll just chuck back in the fridge. Um, that's gone into my fitness pal, so we'll have a look at the amount of carbs that we can get from that bread as well. Well, that last bit of toast is amazing, so another two slices are getting done. As we can see per serve, it's two slices, 24 grams of carbs. So we are definitely getting through the carbs. Um, there's our fig jam. That's um, toast bit three and four. All right, first little lunch snack is two bits of bread and a banana. We'll squish it together. Same bread, so another 25 grams of carbs. And banana will probably be about 30. We'll chuck it in the My Fitness Pal and see exactly. Well, this is um, the second part of lunch. We've got some... Peaches, apricots, and nectarines that have disappeared. Um, second part will be a mango and 275 grams of um, fairly low fat yogurt. So I'll put this in the My Fitness Power. I think at this stage I'm already halfway through my carbs. So I think by the time we have the yogurt and the peaches, we're going to be closer again. It's now four o'clock in the afternoon. I just had a couple more coffees these things are I don't know like seven or eight grams of carbs per hit smash down a can of these beans these beans they say two servings per packages that's about 52 53 grams of carbs from that little can it's gonna have a cup of soup and the cup of soups are around another 24 grams of carbs so a cup of soups an easy way to get some carbs in it's fluid a little bit of noodles on the top, a bit of sodium, so I think we're all on track now for hitting that 700 grams. Okay, at dinner time, it's a series of wraps. It's actually five of them, each one uh, about 20 grams of carbs in the actual wrap itself. More carbs also coming from the corn and beetroot. Here is a My Fitness Power summary for the day. So you can go through slowly, press pause if you want to have a look at individual meals. What you can see though, a lot of carbs, a lot of total kilojoules, and you definitely don't want to be eating like this every day. As you can see when we get closer down to the summary, I have ticked my 720 grams of carbs, but you'll also see that um, I'd put on an extra 10 kilograms of weight if I ate like this on a regular basis.